Okay, well, um, let's uh, take a look at a few other issues along this line. Well, one of the things that I've broken out as a result of this whole thing is these lootings. And I want to believe that you are as concerned. I mean, you, again, let me refer you to 27 years ago. You saw all that happened at that time. Well, it was the military government and, the, and it was a fight for democracy. And there was a lot of fracas at the time, a lot of unrest, a lot of protesting, a lot of rioting as a result of what the government of the day did. And a lot of things happened at that time. Part of it led to the Fourth Republic. Now we are having lootings again. And I'm pretty sure you are as concerned. It speaks to only one thing. Um, our previous guest said the other time, said a hungry man is an angry man. I and mean, it's something that you are also aware of. Would you say, indeed, that it's a true reflection of the people's anger and hunger? I wouldn't agree completely with that. Because criminality is criminality. Would you justify armed robbery because the man was poor? Will you justify armed robbery because the man didn't have money? Just as you can't justify armed robbery because a man was poor and then he took a gun to rob another person, you can also justify the lootings that are going on. It's pure criminality. Mind you, it's not everybody engaged in that looting that is hungry. That is the truth. It is just greed and pure criminality. Yeah, but, but Mr. Dishino, if... Um because, I mean, time and again, we hear different authorities talk about the plans they're putting in place, the figures they are working with to uh, deal or address the question of poverty. But those images that were in different parts of the country speak volumes. And then the World Poverty Clock, uh, which, yes, the government has a plan to bring 100 million people out of poverty, but can we actually run away from the fact that we have a huge problem on our hands that, look, all of those people, it's a huge question. So in measuring, isn't that perhaps uh, a yardstick or perhaps government should look at those and then reflect on all the policies they say they've been executing? Are they achieving the purpose, having seen all of those on the streets? Yeah, thank you. Criminality will always be criminality. And anarchy or near anarchy promotes criminality. What has happened in the past two or three weeks or thereabout led to what is happening now. If there was cohesion and tranquility in society, this wouldn't happen. Therefore, it is corollary to the near anarchic situation that came on the country because of the protests. If you didn't have people burning police stations, killing policemen, burning private and public property, you wouldn't have this fit of looting. That means those same people will be in society and they will find ways to eke out a living. But because a situation was created for near anarchy, that is why you have this. So I don't agree that it is all about poverty. Yes, in any country, you will have at any given time, people who are poor, people who are hungry, and that is one of the reasons why you have government, to ensure that the number of the poor and the hungry reduce progressively. That will happen in every country. But at any given time, the poor and the hungry will be there, and government has a duty to ensure that their number reduces. So this crowd of people that you see going to loot are not necessarily hungry and angry. They are taking advantage of the collapse of law and order that came as a result of protracted protests.